Here we go. I'm Tarina Abernathy. This is my mother, Regina. We're from Willits, California, and we're Homestead Homies, and you are watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Nice. And today I'm gonna make some awesomely awesome sweet potato cookies, or you can turn them into a muffin. And today what I thought to do, I usually do this with cookies, and I thought I would do muffins today, but whatever you guys wanna do, you can make them, and they're so easy, and they taste great. Because sweet potatoes are coming in season, and they're always making things taste so good. So what I want to do and show you here is I had made a couple sweet potatoes. I like to leave them, um, make a couple extra. So I had mashed one sweet potato. So you want about a cup or so or kind of a regular size sweet potato. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that in. And then the other sweet ingredient that you're going to put in here is a very overly ripe banana. I always like to get my bananas when they get them in the bags and you get them really, really cheap at the grocery store. So you put your banana in there, and then I'm going to mash it up really, really good. And then once it's all mashed up, I'm going to add in some of my other ingredients. So now after I um, whipped up the, the cooked sweet potatoes and mashed them and the very ripe banana, I'm going to put about a half of a cup of almond butter in there. And then I'm going to put in about half a cup of oats. And then this is what makes it taste good. Now I'm gonna tell you, this is optional. If you would like to, you can put about a fourth of a cup of almond meal. I just like the way the flavor and the texture it gives it. Or if you don't wanna do the almond meal, you can just go ahead and put a half cup of sprouted wheat flour or flour of your choice. Make sure it's unbleached and unbromated flour. About a half cup of that. I'm gonna mix this up. And then from there, I'm gonna add a little salt. Probably about a fourth of a teaspoon. And then you're definitely going to need a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. All right. And then I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm going to put about a fourth a cup of honey in there to sweeten it up just a teeny bit. And then I'm going to give you another option here. I want you to look at this. This is called um, Enjoy Life and Stark Chocolate um, Chocolate Chips. The problem with regular chocolate chips that you find, just the mainstream chocolate chips, they're made with soy lecithin and soy is genetically modified. It causes a whole other host of problems, a lot of allergic reactions. It's just not good the way it's processed, refined. So I love these because they are soy free or dairy free. The only ingredients in this is unsweetened chocolate and cane sugar and it's um, under five grams of sugar. So if you're gonna do chocolate chips, try to find a brand that is soy free, okay? So you can do this by mixing it all up and doing it without the chocolate chips or adding the chocolate chips. And so today I think I'm going to add a few chocolate chips to my mix. And you can add as much as you want. All right, and I'm just going to mix all this up. Now when I'm mixing this up and I, if, I need, if the texture isn't to where I want it, then I might add just a little bit of water to it to make it a little bit more. Um, easy to work with but actually this is perfect for what I'm going to use it for. So if you're going to do cookies then you're going to want to put it out on parchment paper just like a tablespoon and then you're going to bake it at 350 
for about, you know, 10 minutes or so, and then you're going to mash it down with a spoon, sort of like when you do um, peanut butter cookies. But today I'm going to, and then you'll put it back in, and, but today I'm going to make muffins. All right, so it's all mixed up. It's ready to go. Now today I'm cooking it in the sun oven, so I needed, I preheated it because I'm using in cast iron muffins, so you always have to get your muffin tins or your muffin cast iron pan. You want to get it a little warmer. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to put it in while it's sitting outside. So come on. And I'm going to fill them up. My, my sun oven has been preheated to 350 already. And just so you know, the sun oven is going to work the exact same way as a regular oven. It just cooks. It's, it's exactly the same. Everything about it is the same, except for I'm using the sun instead of electricity. So I'm just going to put my little dollops in my little tins, and then I'm going to let it cook. And I'm going to come check it probably in about 10, 15 minutes to see how it's going. And then I'm going to mush it down because what's it's going to kind of make it um, a little more moist by mushing it down. And just a little note, I did put a little ghee, so you can use butter or ghee in your um, muffin tins when you guys are making it so that they slide out easier. But if you are going to do cookies and do the cookie version of it on the parchment, you don't need to worry about using any butter or ghee. And I did make a video on making ghee in the sun oven, and I will link that above, so check that out if you guys want to know. Or you can make it in a regular oven. It's so simple and easy. I've looked at these, and I tasted some, as you can see over here, and they turned out they, they are really yummy. So I'm going to go ahead and bring them inside. And just remember, if you guys are using an all-American sun oven, then um, if you open it, then you're going to have to wait, you know, like an extra five minutes or so for it to heat back up. So you can add that to your cook time. So these have cooked about 25 minutes because I did open it one time. And I sampled some. I never can wait, but they turned out really good. I'm going to let them cool. So generally, if you're going to make these in the oven, they'll probably take about 20 minutes or so. Okay? All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Stacy likes bringing you these little uh, cooking videos, little, little treats you can put together around the house with items that are coming out of your garden area like the sweet potatoes a lot of you guys are probably harvesting them already we're just about there um so this is going to be a good video for you guys to reference as they start coming out so that's the uh how it looks there and these little uh lodge cast iron muffin pans are pretty cool and don't forget you could actually make this as a um a cookie and also using the all-american sun oven is the way to go you don't heat up the house and you just set it out there, so easy, so simple. So hopefully you like these videos. If you do, hit the thumbs up, share them with your friends. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a Homestead Homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.